Hello friends, long time no see. Um, I haven't been back in a haul video capacity in a very long time. Um, however, I've been doing a little bit of shopping recently because um, I'm going on holiday tomorrow, which I'm very, very excited about. I'm going to Portugal for um, just over 10 days. And then I have also been doing a bit of shopping because I'm currently seven months pregnant and I've got away with not buying a lot at all for the past few months and it's got to the point now where my bump is getting so big that it's testing the limits of my stretchy clothes. Quite luckily, um, the past few years, those kind of shirred dresses that are like really stretchy on the bodice top area have been really popular and I have loads of them in my wardrobe and they all still fit. Um, however, it is getting to the point where a lot of my kind of top shirts and slightly more fitted stuff isn't fitting anymore. So I picked up a few things for my holiday slash just for summer in general. So I thought I would do quite a big collective haul and I'm going to get into it because it's quite long and I've also got some stuff for River as well. Um, so starting off with clothing, then I'm going to do some accessories and then I'm going to do swimwear as well. So um, a disclaimer for this, if you are not pregnant, um, there's only one thing in this whole video that is actually maternity. Everything else I've just kind of sized up or is quite loose fitting and just kind of skims over the bump. So, firstly, one thing from H&M. I never really shop in H&M. I don't really ever go in there. But I walked past the window the other day and spotted this. I've been looking for something like this, like, basically for summer. Um, and it's just absolutely perfect for what I wanted. Um, it is a an oversized shirt dress it's got slits up the sides which is great um if you go oversized especially if you're petite like me and a lot of the time oversized stuff can really swamp me because i'm quite short um however if you have the slit it kind of like breaks up because you can see your legs um it's oversized like round the tummy but then it has this tie detail i'm going to put a cutaway of me wearing this because like i said not maternity and actually originally i bought this in a medium which would be a size up from what i normally would go for um, brought it home, tried it on, and it was way, way too big for me. Not on the bump area specifically, but like on the shoulders and arms. So it's obviously meant to be really, really oversized in terms of like shape. Um, so I went back, swapped it for a small, they do do extra small to extra large sizing wise. Um, and the small is still loose fitting. So I'm really happy with that. It's 20 pounds. Um, it's very lightweight. It's also like kind of a crinkly fabric. So I feel like it won't crease in a suitcase which is really good. It is a bit see-through so if you wanted to wear it as a dress you'd have to wear a slip under it, um, which I totally would do, as well as wearing it as like a beach cover-up would be really, really nice as well. The light has really gone in and now I look very grey and sad, which makes me a bit sad. I looked nice and bright at the beginning of this video. Um, hopefully the sunshine will come back out again. I also picked up a dress from Next, and this one I did size up in. I actually sized up two sizes, but mainly because they didn't have one size up. Um, and it's a wrap dress, so wrap dresses you can kind of get away with a few different sizes because you can obviously make them tighter based on how hard you wrap them. Also, with wrap dresses, I find if you do size up, they tend to have a bit better boob coverage. I don't even have, well I do have quite big boobs at the moment, but in normal life, whilst not pregnant, I don't have big boobs, yet wrap dresses, my boobs always seem to be falling out unless I safety pin or wear like a really, really low cut top. Anyway, this is the dress from Next. This just shouted out to me because it has got pink, orange and turquoise, kind of like a abstract leopard print. It's a wrap dress. It's got poofy sleeves. I actually wish the sleeves were a bit less poofy and a bit longer, but hey, there we go. I can't, I didn't design it. It's cotton, really nice kind of like lightweight casual fabric. Again, quite a crinkly fabric, so I feel like it will be good for travel. It has that kind of like... Spanish inspired ruffly um, high low vibe bottom really like that that was 39 pounds and I feel like this will be good post baby as well because it is a bit bigger breastfeeding friendly because it's a wrap dress so you can kind of easily pop your boob out thought that was quite good um, yeah because the baby's due in July so it hopefully we'll still have a couple of months of warm weather post that um, a couple of other things one thing that I actually got sent from Reese, which I love so much. It is stunning. Again, I sized up in this, but I probably didn't need to because actually it's quite loose fitting. However, I feel like it will fit me all the way through to a full term. And it's the kind of thing that it doesn't matter if it's loose when you're not pregnant. It's a beach cover up. I'm not going to try this on because it is see through and it is, it's got like a cut, cut out down the front. And I'm just, I'm not there yet with the confidence for, um, bikini, 
pregnancy bod on the internet. <laughs> totally will wear this on the beach in public. Um, but yeah, probably not gonna try this one on for you guys. It's beautiful though, look at the detail in it. Absolutely stunning, it's linen, it's white. It's, it's just absolutely gorgeous, I love it. I think I'm gonna get loads of wear out of this this summer. Beach cover up, holiday just in general cover up. Another one that you could use as a beach cover up, I picked this up about a month ago. I haven't worn it yet because the the um, weather hasn't been amazing here. But I think I'll get a fair amount of wear out of it over things like little white dresses but also over swimsuits. This is from Free People and it is, I'm gonna try it on for you. Oh, I think I'm probably gonna put it on over the white shirt so you can kind of see, but it's like a it's like a cardigan. I mean, you can't see it at all now. I'd need to stand up. Um, it's like a cardigan kind of um, wrap, like just throw kind of thing. I love the print. They had two different colors in this. They had like an orangey, pinky toned one, and then they had this blue toned one. I just thought this was really pretty and would be quite useful, again, post baby, because it's quite loose, quite a breastfeeding friendly piece of clothing as well. And last but not least, I also picked up a dress from um, Anthropology, And this I got my regular size in, but because it's like a loose fitting dress, it kind of fits over the bump. I just thought this was so pretty. I have to say, I think this is gonna require a tan. Either a fake one or a real one, probably a fake one because I never sunbathe. Um, but it is quite um, pale in color and because I I'm fairly pale at the moment. I think it's like a little bit washy, wishy-washy. Um, but it has these cutouts, which I feel like if I wasn't pregnant, I I don't know if I would be like, I don't know if I would go for something with these cutouts on the side. But I actually really like it being pregnant. I really like this. It just, yeah, fits really nicely. It's got sheer sleeves with a little elasticated, kind of folky, loose sleeves with a bit of a square neckline. Maxi length, but a little bit shorter than maxi with a bump. Really like that. Um, that's it for clothing, accessories wise. I also picked up this headband from Anthropology. This is actually I've had for ages. I got this when I was in the States a couple of months ago and I haven't worn it yet. I mean, I would not wear it like that. Let's not do that. Um, but I just really like this. It's raffia with like a little um, like white detail on it. Really like this, love a headband in the summer, especially like with a white dress. I think this will look really nice. Like I said, I've had this for a while, I haven't worn it yet, need to change that. Um, and then I also picked up some sunglasses when I went to Mr. Village a couple of weeks ago. And I've had so many questions about these on my Instagram, I thought I would tell you all where they're from. They're from Saint Laurent, um, YSL. They are so dirty because I've been wearing them loads. I've had my eye on these sunglasses for ages. They're like the heart-shaped ones um, from Saint Laurent and they are just really cute and a bit of fun. And these are the black frames with the slightly pur like dark purple lenses. Um, I wasn't sure about the lens color, but I was with my friend Min at the time and she was like, no, get them, they're really fun. Like they're a really fun like shape anyway. So she was like, why not like have like a colored lens? And also it's not like a bright, bright lens or a light lens. Um, but I really like them. I think they're really cute. I'll wear these, I've already worn them loads. Um, and these were reduced from 280 something like that 200 pounds um which i really like i like them a lot i also picked up some trainers in Bista village when i was there from isabel morin which were a bit of an impulse buy because they are quite loud <laughs> i've actually worn these loads however they're loud but i love them they are silver they've got the signature isabel morin like hidden heel so about that much is like a wedge heel in the trainer I've worn them loads. They're starting to get a bit scuffed actually on the inside, which is kind of annoying. They're kind of like a retro design, um, but they're super comfy. They also have like padded, um, like toweling inside. Love these. I saw them and I was like, I really like those. Like, should I not like those? I love the like little metallic detail. I just, yeah, impulse buy, but I've worn them loads already and I really, really like them. And then last but not least for accessories, this is actually rented. Um, I've spoken about Cocoon before, the bag rental service that I am subscribed to. This is my latest rental for them and it's very much like a little summer, a summer holiday cutie. It's the Loewe Gate 
I, th I, th I don't know about what the, specifically the size is called, but it's like the micro, tiny, tiny one. I just thought this was really fun. I love these, the raffia ones specifically, but I would never buy one because they're really expensive and it's basically something that I would only ever use kind of on holiday or in the height of summer. Um, but I thought it was really cute to rent for a few weeks to go on holiday, love that. Um, and then swimwear. So swimwear wise, when you're pregnant, it's really, really difficult. I'm not joking when I say I probably all about five or six swimsuits. Pregnancy swimsuits and sent them back because, God, it's just so hard to get the fit right because the tummy is so big that you then have no support on your boobs and it's really hard to get like the bump size right with the leg size. So a lot of the time I was finding, I've put on quite a bit of weight on my thighs this pregnancy in comparison to my last pregnancy. And I was finding that they were really tight around the thighs but way too big on the bump. So they were like, like probably would fit full term on my bump but wouldn't fit now but then were tight on my thighs but then if I sized up they were way too big on the bump and way too big on the boobs. So I need generally a size small, but then the legs were too small and if I went to a medium, everything else was too big. Kind of annoying. However, I found one. If you are pregnant, um, I would really, really recommend checking this out, which is a swimsuit from Envie de Fraise, um, which is a French maternity brand. They actually sent me some stuff with my last pregnancy with River. I hadn't heard of them at the time, but actually a lot of the stuff I've worn, again, this pregnancy, and it's been really comfortable. They do lots of like soft cotton jersey stuff. I think they're really popular in France. They ship from France, and I got this swimsuit, which is really simple, it's just a plain black swimsuit. I actually went for medium in this, and it, this is way smaller than the other ones that I ordered from like ASOS and Seraphine. If I'd have ordered a medium, they'd have been way too big. This sizing comes up smaller, if that helps. Um, my pre pregnancy size was a size 10 so th I'd say this is like a maternity 10 um but yeah really really flattering like cross front design that's the other thing a lot of them are just really like not nice designs either very happy with that anyway that's maternity so it's not applicable if you're not pregnant um however I did also pick up this bikini which is non-maternity but I sized up two sizes in the bottoms which this is from next and I have to say I love this design of bottoms because it's got, I always used to go for tie side bottoms so that you could get them exactly the right size and you wouldn't ever have them digging in or too loose and falling down or whatever, you can get them exactly how you want them. Um, but these have that shirred, elasticated kind of band that's really thick, that's actually really good um, in terms of like fitting well because it's quite adaptable because there's a lot of elastic in it but also really good when you're pregnant because it's quite a thick band um, so it kind of comes up the bump and doesn't roll down that's one thing that I find even with my knickers is like with a bump they often just roll down unless you have a massive over the bump knickers um, so yeah really like this they do this in loads of different designs I went for this one because they had a really nice leopard print design but it was sold out in my size they had black but it was sold out in my size so this was like my third favorite they did they also have like a khaki spotty one and a bright orange one which i did buy tried on and i was like this color is not for me um the top is a bandeau and looks like this i have to say the top comes up huge um like the cup size comes up really really big so um just something to be warned it also was not a halter neck it was a two strap number like multi-way i have taken the other strap off and made it a halter neck because the straps were way too long for me because i'm quite petite my distance between here and here is quite short and if you don't have adjustable bra straps it's just like a nightmare so i made it halter neck um doesn't have the best support i would say um, if you need support in a um, bikini top, it's not the most supportive, but really pretty. And I was happy that I found that because otherwise I just had one swimsuit that fitted me, which is not good for like a two week holiday, basically. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna quickly show you a few things that I got for River as well um, over the summer. A few things that she's chosen and a few things that I've chosen. Firstly, the cutest swimsuit I've ever seen from M&S when I was doing my food shop the other day. Um, I just, I just can't, this is so cute. The younger girls one that goes up to age two is actually even cuter than this because it has thicker straps and it's just, it's just adorable. Um, but yeah, so cute, the little peplum and the ruffles. And then I also picked her these up from Boots, which she hasn't seen yet. I'm going to give them to her when we get on holiday. Um, they are bejazzled goggles. I didn't even know these existed. Blingo swim goggles. Um... 
she's gonna love those anyway she's learning to swim this summer so she's got um we're obviously going on holiday and then she's got a full summer of swimming lessons um booked in for when we get back so the goggles are going to be a must and put my phone on silent as well um three new pairs of shoes i feel like kids shoes are never ending in terms of like their feet growing the first ones i got from zara i actually got these a few months ago but they didn't fit her until recently um these are like the fluffy shearling um they kind of remind me of the fluffy birkenstocks everyone was wearing during lockdown but she loves them so much. Riv is like the ultimate creature of comfort. She just wants comfy, comfy things. So she just absolutely adores these. They're really cozy. She calls them her slippers. Um, and then I also got her some actual sandals that are a bit better to go with, kind of like nice dresses and stuff. And these ones, oh, those ones are from Zara, if I didn't say. These ones are from Next. I find Next sandals really good actually do, actually do actually because they do quite a lot of cork bed sandals so they have quite good support and they're not too expensive because obviously living in England you don't tend to wear sandals that much of the year the reason why I got these ones because they do do some way cuter ones is she has really really narrow feet and most sandals are not um, adjustable on that front section there where she needs that because she has super narrow feet that's from Mike thanks Mike um, she'll I guess I should know she'll probably hate you for it forever because it makes like Mike finds it really hard to find shoes that fit him because he's got really really long narrow feet and I feel like rivers are going to be the same anyway these are cute cute enough they did some really 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 nice sandals I actually got sent some from Bowdoin for her as well but they're just too wide for the moment so these ones are adjustable last but not least the ones she picked herself from next um it, they weren't what I would pick but it could be a lot worse she went wild when she saw these like literally oh, mummy oh my god like yeah so i'm gonna wear them everywhere she told me i'm gonna wear them everywhere um so yes they are her glittery shoes she also picked out her own swimsuit for holiday which um she was very very excited about i really approve of this i think it's really cool it's got unicorns and rockets and stars and planets on it um i think it's really cute and it's got like a little tiny ruffle here um, and then we picked this one together. This is also from Next. That was from Next as well. Love this. Such a cute little, um, very like old fashioned design and print, but the flowers have actually like neon, neon pink touches to them. Love. So cute. And she also picked herself. Again, this was a like, oh my goodness, mommy, please, please, please moment. I need to stop taking her shopping, but um, look at this rainbow skirt. If they had it in my size, I would wear it too, to be fair. Very, very cute. And then also, I get asked this all the time, so I thought I would tell you where her frilly socks are from. Her frilly socks are also from Next. Most of Riv's clothes, they're either from Next or Stella McCartney Kids, which I usually get in Bista Village or on eBay secondhand. Um, so the frilly socks from Next, top, top quality. They have like a nice texture to them and the... Um, the lacy frilly bit is not too big. If you buy the cheaper ones from like Primark or wherever, or the supermarket ones, the frill tends to be massive and I just don't like that. So um, the next ones are really good and they're really good quality and they last a really long time as well. That is it for my summer haul. My summer holiday haul. I'm going away tomorrow. I'm so excited, cannot wait. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon, hopefully. Um, and yeah, take care of yourselves. Bye guys.